Ooh. Beautiful. Very nice. So what, what part of Canada are you from again? I know you've told me before. Uh, well, now I'm living in Ottawa, Canada. Okay. I'm working as a biology teacher at the university. Um, one of my modules is urinary tract. And I tell my students all the time that this may help reduce recurring urinary tract infections because it's so high in antioxidants. Well, not only that, but it's also a source of fiber and vitamin E. Mm-hmm. Not only that, they're amazingly delicious. So good. <laughs> but I also heard that the Native Americans used to use them as a medicine to cure arrow wounds and also dye blankets and rugs. Well, you heard right. In fact, actually, the cranberry has a long history. In North America, um, the Native Americans were the first to consume um, the wild cranberries. And then by the English settlers who adopted the Native Americans' uses of this delicious fruit. But there's a type of cranberry that comes from Europe as well, correct? Mm -hmm. Actually, there's two major cranberry families. So there is um, the American cranberry and the European cranberry. You'd make a great student. Well, thank you very much. Dried cranberries are part of Nuts for a Healthier World. Excellent. I have Visit nutsforgifts.org and share the Nuts for a Healthier World video so it reaches the people who need it most.